But first, we are talking A-levels and T-levels because it is results day and students up and down the country have been receiving their grades at Lakes College near Workington. The first students to graduate with a T-level got their results today too. Similar to an A-level, but T-level students go out to do a placement with an employer as well as completing their coursework and exams. And BBC Radio Cumbria's Harry Hansen has spent part of Results Day uh, chatting to some of the students of Lakes College near Workington as they, well, that momentous occasion, that moment when you open the envelope. Do you remember that, Helen, when you opened the envelope? I didn't. A couple of years ago, back. Yeah, no? I ran away and got my mother to ring. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, wouldn't Did go. You? Yes. Did you never go to school? No, I, no I wouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, these guys did. Got a distinction. Yes! <laughs> well, that is basically beyond what I was expecting. It's hard to forget that day, isn't it? Going back to school during the summer holidays to pick up some results. Well, this year, some students at Lakes College near Workington are amongst the first to be picking up T-level results. I've been for weeks, I've been like thinking, am I even going to get a merit? Did I do enough? Did I do enough of this, that? I've just been like, oh my God. And then I've just looked at this and I've got a distinction that is beyond what I thought I could do. So I'm very much happy with myself. <laughs> I'm shocked. I just wasn't expecting it, but <laughs> I got there. It's been a roller coaster to say the least. Hi, my name's Danny Braith, I'm assistant principal at Lakes College. Over the last two years, I've been uh, kind of leading on the implementation of T-levels. The industry placement is a fantastic element of what is a challenging qualification. It puts people right in the heart of businesses. It gets industry involved in qualifications and the actual delivery of those courses. They're slightly different to A-levels as the students get to go out and spend time with an employer with their grades coming from their performance there mixed with exams and coursework. And this year, across the 3,500 students in the UK who have completed a T-level, 94.9% have received a pass. I'm Alison Willits. I'm the course leader for the T-level science and the T-level engineering. The experience we've had in placement is the employers are just super impressed of how prepared they are for the world of work. It's very different to A-level. It's not just the theoretical content, it's the practical work as well. So, for instance, the laboratory scientists went into a laboratory and were able to start work immediately. So what's this morning been like? Excellent results. I've got a student over there. I'm just waiting for his reaction as he opens his envelope. <laughs> They're what I expected, to be honest. Uh, it, I thought it was quite easy. It's quite a good course, so I don't think there's really a chance that you'll fail. They just explain it more. It's smaller class size, so... You just learn everything a lot better than a traditional like school setting. I like the fact that I have experience in a sector and I'll be able to branch off into lots of different things. So it's given me a deeper, sort of broader pool of a career I can go into when I'm older. Can you believe that? This is our first graduation year, if you like, for T-levels. Uh, I'm just really pleased for, for the students themselves, obviously, from the results that have come through, which are absolutely fantastic across the board. The next cohort coming in can benefit even more from, from the, the qualification and the experience that the teachers and our previous students have had as well. I'll be going into linguistics, because that's what I'm doing at uni, and I'll have teaching for two years under my belt. So it's a big sort of different, like... Um, career path that I can choose so there's lots of different ways I can go. I'm really pleased as well for our staff who've put a lot of hard work into introducing this qualification and, and upskilling themselves and getting themselves across uh, new qualifications which is no, is no mean feat uh, so I'm really pleased to see them, them see, reaping the rewards of their hard work. The students of Lakes College near Workington chatting there to BBC Radio Cumbria's Harry Hansen this morning on A-Level and T-Level Results Day.